In describing the gates of the performance horse in the show horse division, these gates will apply to all classes in this division, regardless of age or sex. The flat walk should be true, bold, and four-cornered. The horse should nod the head with every stride and bring each forefoot to the ground a mere second before the diagonally opposite hind foot touches the ground. The number one factor that separates the walking horse from all other breeds is their head motion. If a horse is not shaking his head, he is not walking. The foreleg should move straight, not crossing or winging with his hooves, breaking at the knees, and reaching forward in an elevated arc. The rear leg should follow through close to the ground, comfortable and overstriding the front tracks. They should be stretching, not squatting or cramping, with a lot of bend in their hocks. Notice the horse's back hoof up even with his front hoof. Stiff front or rear leg motion, stumbling, bucking knees, lack of rhythmic timing, pointing or favoring a particular leg, necessity for excessive pumping or bumping of the horse are not typical of the walking horse, and the judge must immediately excuse any horse exhibiting this type of motion from the ring. The running walk should be the same general motion as the flat walk, but with additional speed. The horse shall exhibit a smooth, gliding, overstepping, four-cornered gait with greater stride and accelerated head motion. The running walk should be a free and easy gait. Horses exhibiting an exaggerated, hesitating way of going with a tendency to point with the front feet are not in form. Twisting of the hocks or stiff-legged rear leg motion shall also be considered a deviation from the true running walk, and a horse exhibiting these ways of going should be penalized. The canter should be smooth and straight on both leads, not walking behind, but cantering on both ends with a rolling, rocking chair motion comfortably in hand. Notice the horse leading with his left front leg going to the left and leading with his right front leg going to the right. Exaggerated pumping of the horse at the canter is not considered good form. The walking horse should move freely in each gait and proceed in a smooth, fluid, rhythmic manner. At all gates, the horse should be flexed at the pole with muzzle slightly tucked. Any tendency to rack, pace, or other deviation from the true walk are not typical of the breed. The preceding mannerisms are not considered good form and shall be penalized in judging. All entries should be presented clean, neatly trimmed, braided, and in good flesh, presenting a healthy appearance. Each entry should be outfitted in clean and appropriate tack. The exhibitor of each entry should be neat in appearance, attired in properly fitting riding habits, and shall conduct themselves in a sportsmanlike manner at all times. A horse that has not performed all the required gates shall not be placed over a horse that has performed all gates. We want the legs on the same side to move at the same time. But what we do is through the timing on this mare, on getting her to a more vertical headset, combined with our shoeing, we want that two beat lateral gait, which is referred to as a pace, to turn it into a four beat gait, which the back foot on the same side hits the ground just. If you notice the head shake, the bending of the knee, stepping off the ground from the forehand, and the front leg going forward, we call that reach. And then you really see this horse engage her hindquarters and use that crooked, so to speak, back leg to stride up under her. We never want the gait to change. We always want the horse shaking its head, using the forehand, and engaging the hindquarters. It doesn't matter what division, the greater the animation that the horse possesses, then the increase in the division. And we also want to see that increase in that head shake.
And that's a two ounce action device. And that's a, keep going. Nice and easy flat walk. Come on up, Susan, turn her loose a little bit. Come on up. Now, right there. Got any questions about any processes or procedures involved with the Tennessee walking horse, Dr. Baum will be the ideal person to ask. Now we have a six ounce chain on this mare. Good, Susan, right there. Keep coming. Work with the pads and the action devices on. That head set more vertical and upward. We really see the angle of the, of the placement of the neck and the shoulder working together right there to give us that placement. It really being the show horse that has become infamous with our padded horse or our performance horse that we see in the show ring.